forgot to thought. Housekeeper! Somebody help us! Boy! Where are you? Get yourself down here, boy! No. No fires, we can't attract attention. Boy! We need your help! Watch your mouth. Our circumstances may be unique, but that does not give you free license for disrespect. You sound ready for office. I'm only ready to serve. I'm sure you are ready to serve your own interests. Well, this is ideal. I'll get the others. Finer men than you have died at my feet for less. of women. Be careful, don't drop your inch. Hear us, just keep moving. I'll need bandages, water, and light. Get some candles from downstairs. And check the kitchens for food. Food? Well, at a time like this? Weak stomach. Must be the company I keep. You two can look for the boy. We'll have a better grasp of the geography of the house.
The situation makes me uneasy. There's more at stake here than reputation. The coincidence of circumstance may give rise to suspicion. There is nothing more to this than meets the eye. Attacked on the open road, not a soul in sight. The perfect conditions for crime, surely. For the perfect crime, perhaps. Let's get to the larders and we can discuss your theories over a light supper. Something is not right here. This house, for one thing. Empty, but for one servant boy. I'm not denying our situation. But you're worrying would find suspicion even in the wall carverings. We were attacked and we are sheltering, licking our wounds, as simple as that. Only one of us wounded, the most protected of us. That in itself raises my suspicions. But the motive, no money taken. Nothing taken and no harm done. Not yet. Probably. Strange. A library with no books. Your wound needs cleaning, Your Majesty. Well, if it needs cleaning, then clean it. By Christ, if you continue to tease my wound, I'll inflict a mightier one on you! Get me some wine! The others will be back shortly. I don't want to leave you in this condition. If you all showed the same concern at the time, I wouldn't be run through. You look in remarkably good condition. Any fatalities? No, Your Majesty. Any other injuries? No, Your Majesty. Huh? So I managed to save everyone by taking the fall. It all happened so quickly that... You only had time to protect your own skinny behinds, eh? And our aggressor? He fled. Not before you all begged like dogs for your lives, no doubt. Get me the bloody wine now! You'll take an hourly rotation to guard the roof, the front, and the king's room. You must keep vigilant for the boy. He's of more benefit alive, particularly if he knows something. He's only a boy and may well be innocent. No bullish behavior. His Majesty is awake. Ah, yes. We thought we heard another roar. And he's looking for wine. I'll go. He'll be looking for answers before long. Will you oblige there as well? What does he remember? Everything, it seems. Though he's not too happy about us being unscathed. And the wound? I've cleaned it. But the legs are badly ulcerated. Well, they're not any more infected than they were before. There's considerable discomfort. Where's my wine? 
His maturity of years haven't mellowed him. Perhaps we should all go back in together. Where are the guards? On the roof and the front door, and uh, one was supposed to be on duty by this door. many superlatives on his majesty but that is the first the wine you fool ah so you've got wine for us only this half he drank the rest always was a bit of a selected wine critic what's going on when will he see us in a hurry to be chastised he'll see you now age before intelligence and beauty hmm his anger I can cope with, but this shutting us out is unlike him, and it unnerves me. You like your monarchs to be predictable. I like to think of him as reliable. It is out of character of him to behave in this way. It's not every day you survive an assassination attempt. I don't think he wants to feed the king's suspicion. Why? What's his theory? I'm not sure that he has one. But he never was too welcoming of questions, even in his more receptive moods. Where's my wine? Go straight through. But well, perhaps I should wait for the, uh, for the wine. When he's more mellow, he's more... Forgiving? Sure-minded. Uh... He wants you now. only with a nod or a shake of your head. Do you understand? Are you alone here? Don't play games with me. You're gambling with your life. I'll ask you again. Are you alone here? Are there any other members of this household here? You're getting the hang of this. If I'm to release my grip, you won't run or shout. You will run and shout. That's better. What about a gay? I could have killed you if I wanted. Oh, come on. The game will civilize the situation. I'm Thorn. William. Will. There's a lot more going on here, Will, than you probably realize. Who are you? Well, that's not important. What's going on here is... There is a situation unfolding this night which may break this country. I'm only the groundkeeper's son. I don't own or even run this house. You know how much I've gathered for myself. But there is a matter of great importance unfolding here, a matter of state. I can't help you with matters of politics. I have more urgent concerns. Like your guests? They were not invited by me or anyone. They're not guests of this house. Well, nor am I, for that matter. I am trusted with the safekeeping of this house and don't intend to lose my position within this household. Well, there are other positions in other households. I've been here since I was born. So you know the house well? Well enough to know that there is nothing of value here. No hidden treasures. His lordship is away until spring and what little supplies there are will only sustain me. You think I'm a thief? Come to rob this house of all its riches? But you might be surprised to learn that there is something, or should I say someone, of value here. What do you know of your guests? You still haven't told me who you are. You better sit. You say you're not a politician, but you must have a view, an opinion. Is this you? I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. 
intimate place you have here. It's very cold. It'll make you live here, surely. To wind the clock. I have quarters in the house. My duties are whatever his lord and ladyship require. I tend the gardens, see to repairs. But no room for your chess, your writings, or your diary. In your quarters below. <laughs> I'm not that concerned with the mood swings of youth and household gossip. But you are more complex an individual than you will admit to me. This is you, on the outside. But inside, you have aspirations. They could cost you dear. A boy with fire in his belly. I'm right, aren't I? What do you know of the new arrivals? They broke through the door. Not thieves, then, if they're still here, unless they're blind or very stupid. Well, with the commotion of the storm, I thought they were here to rob the house. They have two hounds. How many in total? Hounds, two. No, no, men. Six, I think. But they were carrying another. A large ox-like man. Yes, did you see him? I know of him. So if they're not here to rob, what conclusions have you drawn? None. Now come on, Will. You have the movements and manner of someone with a plan. They're just an injured party who want shelter from the elements. Well then why hide on the roof? You know that something isn't right. What's your theory? I have no theory, just facts. Your guest is a man of some stature. That is obvious. I am deadly serious. It is a human line of defense which makes a monarchy. Without the people, there is no reason and therefore no monarchy. What are you saying? You have a brain. Use it. Wait! There's questions! by incompetence. Ah! 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 Sire, your wound needs attention. From a physician, not a butcher! An infection may spread. And I look around at your faces. I steer to see where an infection might lie. You all hang on to me in my court like simpering dogs. Only without the loyalty one can expect from a hound. There is a rot that has gone unattended for too long. It may be too late. I've cleaned it as best I can. There should be no lasting effect. Only a scar. <laughs> <laughs> the mark of a warrior. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this grand empty house is like a barren woman there is much on offer an exterior of promise of beauty of grace and strength but inside an empty vessel We'll be out of here by morning, sire. That should be a relief to you, at least. This situation 
is showing me your true worth for all your mighty talk and advice of war. They're all weak, feeble creatures. What is there more to this situation than you have told me? The injury is causing you distress. Don't think! This situation makes me deluded or gives you license for treasonous remarks? My eyes are opening. But all I can see is this old ragged body, which is more bulk than stature. Or what would you know? You have no taste of life or death. No war's fault. But then, perhaps wars are not the way forward anyway. But war is an inevitability. My father never thought much of war except as a device for raising taxes. As a well-run and peaceful country, your people frown at taxes, but cheer us into war and with smiles on their faces, pay their taxes! Matters of state can surely wait until your recovery. And what if that recovery doesn't come? Will my country be orphaned? Will any of you even care? Sire? I'm tired. Leave me. I'm sure I've given you enough topic of conversation to see you through the morning. Leave the dumb animal. One of the few I can trust around here. Aren't you? Hmm? <laughs> Well, what are you two waiting for? Some of the same? Get out and get me the bloody wine! Yes, sire. Will you require anything else, sire? If I do, you'll know where to find me. Just follow the roar! <laughs> Keep me informed! My dear boy. found him then. What does he know? Only to watch things more closely. How is he? Is it time for me? There's no permanent damage, but he's not too happy about the situation. Does he want to see me? Well, I don't... I don't think you want to keep him waiting. you, Catherine? Huh? Uh. What's going on? Is the house ablaze? Or are you trying to push me into my grave ahead of time? to fight you for an answer. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I thought that you wanted to see me. 
whatever for? I expressly decided to be left to myself, or are you another one who thinks he can overrule the King of England? No, I... I... Have you come to give me your version of tonight's events? Sire? Don't you think it's slightly curious that of three courtiers and three of my guards on a journey known to only four of us, we should be attacked and only I am injured? Coincidence? I should bloody well hope it wasn't by design. I did warn of leaving the palace under the current circumstances. These current circumstances you refer to are supposed to make me a prisoner in my own country? There is an opinion in the land of which your majesty is aware. From a minority. A minority, yes, but enemies. Enemies are commonplace for a king. Whole nations can have a fire of hate in their bellies. Does that mean I, I shouldn't venture out amongst my people in my country? I also remember it was your advice to go forth amongst my people to forge a greater respect. I'm here. We all are to serve you and to protect you from... And what a fine example of your station you provide here. A fitting example of what not to have in a courtier. Get out! And don't come back until you can find an adequate explanation for this catastrophe. Because until you do, I hold you all guilty for the attempt on my life. And if that's too much for you to take responsibility for, don't come back until you fill that with wine! Don't answer me back, hmm? Do you? Or do I there say you would, hmm? Give it half a chance. <laughs> Perhaps I'll come back as a dog. Rome would like that. Or perhaps I'm living out my punishment now. And the ultimate existence Glad to see you, was he? In just the right mood for visitors, was he? Enjoy your apples. I don't believe I've seen you break into a sweat before. Not without the presence of a whore, at least. Mm, brave words, he may attack. What, no witty retort? No biting sarcasm. I think that his majesty... Who 
are you accusing? What are you saying? That we are plotting, contriving? There is more going on here than we realize. You mean the boy? But he's only a servant boy. How could he even understand? Have you questioned him? About what? Now, if we reveal too much, then we will do more harm than good. He has no idea that it is the King of England who lies injured upstairs? No. He would be acting differently if he knew. How can you say that? You don't know him. Up in the tower, I found a diary, some writing, and a chessboard. Oh, then we need go no further. Sure sign of weak character and a traitor in the making. We should have all chess sets burned on order of the king. The boy is presenting us with a shallow image. Almost too simplistic. I'm going for a look around. At least try and stay awake. Yeah. Oh, we should present him with the full facts to see what he knows. By morning, we will be gone. The situation will be a bad dream for us and an elaborate, unsubstantiated tale for the servant boy to explain away. But what if he's believed and we are mentioned? I have not mentioned my name to him. Nor I. Have you? No. Throats. We must find him. We'll have to split up and search the house. But he knows the house inside out. Frightened of a servant, boy? No, but I worry about the king. He's not going anywhere. I'll stay with the king. You want to be at the epicenter? <laughs> no. You're right. I should help look round the house. We'll need you to stay by His Majesty's side. Or the door to his bedroom, at least. Let us see if we can't raise a scent.
What have we here? A midnight chimney sweep. I'm, I am so, I'm sorry, sir. Sir, is it? I'm not a chimney sweep, but there's nothing to be frightened of. It looks as if that role falls squarely on your shoulders. Oh, I, I, I will see to the mess, sir. Who is this sir you refer to? Um, I, I make no assumptions since we have not been introduced. But, sir, uh, I am Will, the groundkeeper's son for this house. I have no other role here. Are all your guests uh, treated to the same pantomime, or is this performance reserved for the elderly and generally infirm? I... I can't help you, sir. Of course you're the groundkeeper's son, but I'm sure you know where the best of the wine is kept, don't you? I'm sure you know a lot about this house and what has transpired this evening. But I'm only the... The groundkeeper's son. Then tell me, where is the groundkeeper's son's father? Well, the, the house is closed for the season. It is my task to ensure the upkeep, uh, small repairs, and control any vermin. Such as unwanted guests? Oh, no, sir. Do you know who we are? No, sir. Uh, do you know who I am, then? No, sir. We have not been introduced. Do you not want to ask who we are, who I am, and what gives us license to intrude on you on this godforsaken night? I wouldn't presume to question your motives, sir. Why not? We may be thieves or bandits. I think that unlikely, sir. The others do not appear to be interested in the contents of the house. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. What have they conveyed to you about our identity? Nothing. You are not curious? No, sir. Even though they have broken into this house and made free use of it for lodgings, and you placed with the defense of this house and taken liberties with your supplies. Oh, I'll, I'll get you more wine, sir. Stop! Answer me truthfully, boy, or you may lose your head. Why were you up there? You've already admitted that you're not a chimney sweep. I, I, I was frightened. Of what? I thought you are the groundkeeper's son who has no thoughts or opinions. What have you to be scared of? The night? Uh, I, I'm, I'm confused. You know that there is something amiss here. You probably know more than me. But I was sleeping when you and your friends broke through to find shelter. If it was just shelter, why not let us through anyway? And these friends you speak of, were they friendly or charitable to you? Oh, no, sir. Then why assume they are such to me? If any one of them claimed to be my true friend, I should probably uh, be as worried as you claim you are. But I saw them carry you in, and they were concerned for your well-being. They had a mighty struggle to get you here. Really? Oh, I mean, this the stairs is very narrow. And the corridors are, are very dark. <laughs> and, and this is a difficult room to reach. I'm a hefty old ox who can barely walk at the best of times, and they broke their lazy backs getting me this far. Probably the hardest work they've seen all year. But now that I'm up this far, they can scheme and weave some gossip like old women. I see. You're their employer. Yes. Of sorts. Hmm. I saw you downstairs in the main hall. You look worried and left. What drew you back? Oh, the cold air and the rain. Your honesty is refreshing, boy. Will. <laughs> well, Will. Let me introduce myself. I am Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. Mm. I can see you must have thoroughly cleaned all the chimneys in the house, judging by the amount you've 
brought down with you. Aye. So, what happened to you? I fell from a horse. Or perhaps I was pushed. It's all the same since I'm left incapacitated by, uh, by this. <clears throat> It has been cleaned and bandaged. And for that, I should be grateful. Oh! Nice ring. It was downstairs by the main fireplace. I was going to return it. So you decided to keep it on your thumb for safekeeping? Yes. Keep it, I have plenty. Anyway, what use are such trinkets you can't Take them with you when you go. Yes, you can, Henry. I'll just get some butter to ease it no, off. No, Will. When you go. Oh. Or if Rome has its way. Hmm. But your wound is clean. It will heal. I am less concerned with the wound, but how I got it. Falling off your horse, you said. But why was mine the only one to fall, and I the only one to be injured, and for it to happen here, so far from anywhere. And Rome? Why would Rome want you? It's a long but very interesting story. But you're not going to tell me. What do you think of the current state of things? You'll probably be left with a scar. Not that. The country is in turmoil, I'm told. The people are unhappy, I'm told. Have you been away then, Henry? Abroad? In mind, if not in body. I don't understand. Would you fight for your country? Yes. Would you fight for your king? Oh, why? What opinion do you hold of our king? Uh, well, I, I really need to get washed. This soot will stain my skin, and these clothes are ruined. Ah, oh, to be young again. And the flush of youth. But with maturity comes dignity and respect. You have people who rely on you for their wages. I trade it all for my youth. And lose the stature and the honor and the respect which you have earned? I don't have long left. No, your wound is healing. I am tired. I have been fighting illness and I am weak with indifference. My few friends have deserted me. My wives have left me. You were widower then, Henry? In more ways than one. But, uh, but there must be some family. Too much family, too many relatives, cousins. Brothers by law, fathers by law, sisters by law. The list is endless and draining. I am spent. I will go and make peace with your friends and find you something to eat and drink. You are naive. If you think you can find a friend in that lot. But they will do me no harm now that we are friends. The opposite is likely. You don't understand what is happening here. We are not here by chance. It is no coincidence that we diverted to this side of London. It is by design that I am here. And with this wound, I am convinced that I will not see the morning. But the storm is not here by design. There is a traitor amongst us. <sighs> Too much wine can do that. I'm not a gentle old fool who doesn't know his own mind. <laughs> Boy. This 
is an outrage. Yes, an outrage. I didn't do anything. He did. Hold your tongue, boy. Your Majesty, our humblest of apologies. This rat must have tunneled around the chimneys of the house. Your Majesty? Oh, to your knees, boy, in the presence of the King of England. He has killed one of the guards. I didn't kill him. Silence! Has anyone seen Catherine? I thought she was here. The king needs his rest. If you see Catherine, be sure to send her through. for his majesty's sanity. His sanity is not ours to question. Besides, we have a murderer in our midst. I never remembered you as being so coy in the presence of women. What do you want? What I've always wanted. To be queen and to serve you and this country. Who is it? Who's there? Catherine? Is it you? Get out, you fool! Get out! And I want you if you're not there. Face together. There's something alien to your past romantic encounters come to haunt you after midnight. Receiving your seed. No! Let it go away! As you wish. You always did get your own way, Henry. <laughs> what is this? The king of the land, frightened by the dark and the shadows. I am frightened of no man or beast. Which am I? You sound familiar. And yet alien. You remind me of someone or somebody. Yes. My face is almost that of a stranger. Face 
face me, Henry? Or can you not face what you have done? You have Catherine's eyes. Jane's smile. Anne's disposition. Are you any of these? Or are you a night demon? A dream to torment me? To torment you? Does this mean you admit to remorse or guilt for our treatment? I am guilty of making you Queen of England, the envy of all who see you. At what price? My sanity, by the looks of things. I was not barren. I was worse. I was the receptacle of stillborn heirs. I was a whore. A schemer? Your friend in the tower, who was he? And what were you conspiring together? You keep asking the same questions, but I can only give you the same answers. There is nobody else staying in this house. I heard conversation. I talk to myself. You know what treason is? I would die for my country. It may just come to that. I think if he had anything to tell us, we would have heard it by now. The king may be in danger. His wound looks painful, but not fatal. <laughs> we have a physician in our midst. You have killed a man on this night, Will. And for that, there is no escape. But... We may be able to help you. I didn't kill him. He fell. That will be for a judge to decide. He was climbing the chimney. He fell. I cannot be tried for a crime I did not commit. If a man can kill, he can surely lie. Which is why your protests of innocence are falling on deaf ears. You don't care whether I'm guilty or not. That god would have probably killed me if he'd gotten his hands on me. So you admit to having struggled with him then? Yes. We can but... overlook this matter. But only if you are true and honest with us. You said the king may be in danger. Our king is gravely ill. His mind is occupied by demons by day and night. And his... Dementia grows with each twist and turn of his life. But he may well have good cause for suspicion on this night. This is of the highest confidentiality. I was confronted by a man who claimed to be the king's friend in the tower. He questioned my loyalty. He says that the king was in danger and that I was to help him. And there was some question about the survival of the monarchy. Trying to conscript an accomplice. He would have left you with the consequences of his crime. You will be a national hero and the king will bestow you with honors. Your master will be informed of your courageous actions on his return.
Why weren't you honest with me? I didn't mislead you. Our king lies injured, and you were busy playing games with me. I had to be sure you could be trusted. Trusted? To help you betray the country? That's not it at all. You would have used me for your own purposes and left me to take the full punishment for your crime. <laughs> I was a fool not to see through you before. I met with the king. Oh, really? And how did you fare? He wasn't the king in my mind. Just an injured old man. Disappointed? Surprised. That he was old and decrepit? No. No, that he was just so ordinary. So human. That's a great truth or lie, isn't it? Depending on your point of view about our monarchy, they're just people, same as you and I. The pageantry is their device to persuade you otherwise. Behind all that pomp and ceremony lie terrified people, frightened of being caught out. Weakness in the eyes of their subjects, and eventual death is the ultimate humiliation. Is our king dying? No, we're all dying from the day of our birth. He's having strange visitations. His past is catching up with him, you might say. Past sins? Oh, that, and guilt. Henry's being tortured by images of his previous marriages. Well, I do say your life flashes in front of you before you die. But tell me, if you didn't know he was King Henry, did he tell you? I was calling him Henry, and sir. <laughs> off to the tower, and off with his head. Why can you not face me, Will? Because you're a traitor. For having an opinion? No. For the assassination of the King of England. You fool! What have you done? I've met the King. And for all his folks, he's a good man who doesn't deserve to be slaughtered. Even in death, you women are a torment. Was I such a bad husband? Was I? Even you, damned dog of an opinion. Damn you all! I am spent and broken. England is spent and broken. Is this how it will end? <laughs> Quite a gathering. I am honored. Keep your mouth shut. It'll be just you, then. No more questions. You won't get away with this. I think that you will find that it is you who will not be getting away with anything. Trust the others, do you? We all have the same goal. That I'm sure. Meaning? I've been watching you all this night. None of you could claim to be without some sin. This of all nights. Silence. The others are coming. There are dead guards in the cell. I'm sure they didn't fall on their swords. <laughs>
I know what's going on here. You'll be beheaded for treason. You may as well confess and uh, cleanse yourself before the eyes of God. Oh, very good. You'll have them crying in robes. We have the King's best interests at heart. You all have your own agendas, of that much I'm sure. But who the architect is, I haven't quite decided. Your guards are dead and not by my hand. And where's your third wheel? Busy preparing something, perhaps. Trying to undermine us will not throw suspicion from you. No more questions? We must keep His Majesty informed. Very concerned all of a sudden. Meaning? We can't argue amongst ourselves. That's what he wants. We should keep the King up to date with all developments. Just in case things don't work out. That's preposterous. I have no hidden agenda. Would any of us admit if we had? It's gone. We must protect the King. Majesty. Will who? Have you come to rob me? No, sire. I spoke with you a short while ago. You're not another night demon. I've had all I can take of visitations this night. Oh my. Ah, ah, you are a thief and a liar. Ah, 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 no. Ah, 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 uh, 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 oh, this, this is not my home. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 your injury, sire. Uh, uh, I'd forgotten about that. And you too, for that matter. Uh. No, I'm sick of bed. But for size of me, I've outlived several dozen beds. My legs are ulcerated. Lying in bed makes me feel even more of an invalid than I am. Oh, leave it. It's coming back slowly. At my age, a poor memory is a positive advantage. The life I've had, patchy memory can be a comfort. You seem less talkative now, Will? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm, I preferred it when you call me Sir Henry. Not even my wives would often call me by my born name. <laughs> Are you in awe of your king? Or scared for your life, Will? Both, Your Majesty. <laughs> you wouldn't last a day in my court. Your honesty would be your downfall. <laughs> there is little I can offer you so you can keep the ring. It can be your wage for tonight. Are you paid much? As groundkeeper's son? You see, I did remember. It's been some time since I was last paid, Your Majesty. You see, I haven't been entirely truthful about this house. I haven't been entirely truthful my entire life, so I'll forgive just one night. There is much about this country I choose not to look at 
or listen to. A king who understands his subjects, his people, too intimately, is in danger of becoming one of those subjects. On the inside, looking out. The house is closed, but not just for the season. The library is without books. They were sold. As to have most of the possessions in the house, and the staff in the main have been let go. In the main? <laughs> I would have said in the entirety, uh, present company accepted. Uh, and the reason for this thrifty attitude? Your Majesty? Why is the house dying? Taxes, Your Majesty. To keep a fat king fatter. And the warriors fighting, that's what taxes are for. <laughs> the campaign we fought three years ago cost us dearly. I demanded benevolence, sold lands. And let us not forget the debasement of the great English coinage. All these charges can be fairly laid at my door. Did you know that I reminted the coin, which is now mostly base metal? An enterprise which yielded a, a good deal, but not nearly enough to see us through our present financial difficulties. But you have led as well against France and Scotland, Your Majesty. Mostly people love their money before their country. Just ask your master, which he would prefer. I dare say he wouldn't like me lounging upon his hospitality. I wouldn't have said so, Your Majesty. When you're a monarch of my age, death comes as quite a relief. There is one final game, of course. One great battle which you must fight. The timing of death is something for historians, but the method can be one of the gossip. The head of Henry is a valuable currency in some circles. As you may have gathered, my enemies far outweigh my friends, or should I say acquaintances? Because a true king has no friend. Subjects at best, but eventual enemies in the making. One of the few constants. But your children, Your Majesty. Mostly poisoned by the wicked tongues of their mothers. Although my son Edward will rule. I must formulate a council before my demise. They all talk about my demise. It's treason to foretell the death of a king. Lord Hungerford lost his life by trying to predict the demise of mine. <laughs> it's not so much when I expect to be set upon, as I have taught my best men, take your enemy when he is at his weakest. But the question of who can be a vexing one. There are so many potential candidates. This situation is an example. Even before we left the pass, there was something amiss. It's the only diversion that stimulates me these days. They circled me, waiting for me to die, like hawks. These legs have lasted beyond their duty. I lose count of the differing camps of my enemies. The Greemses, from the humble subject up to the church and Rome. I think you'll be glad to know, Your Majesty, that there's now no need for concern regarding the attack. They got him on the roof. Got who? For what? A thorn, Your Majesty. What? You had better explain what you know.
take another step. Please, Your Majesty, you must try. think he's with us tonight. <laughs> think yourself lucky you're already dead. <laughs> huh. So this is the library without books. <sighs> I, Your Majesty. From Your Majesty. Please, I preferred plain old Henry. <sighs> Please, Henry, we haven't got much time. I have done the last of my running for tonight. Probably done the last running of my life. Hmm. You. For England. Both be getting old. But the others. A king as old as me has enemies from every direction. I fear your majesty may have kept your enemies too close on this occasion. The line between friend and foe is blurred. My most loyal and oldest friends have betrayed me. Like rotten apples. Your enemies are falling over themselves to be the first. Killing themselves in the process. died on January 28th, 1547, around midnight. His death was kept